Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see one important and interesting Tableau interview scenario that is how to find difference in order days for each customer. Okay, so this was the question that was asked in L2 of Deloitte. Okay, and let us thank our subscriber who has shared us this question and his experience so that it can be of help to others who are watching. And let us get started and while doing so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let us get started. So here, guys, what is something that we need to understand is, like, say, I am a customer, okay, and I am placing order on different day, different different days, right, based on my requirement I place. Now we want to analyze how frequently a customer is placing an order, or how many days of gap he is having from one order to another order. Or is there any, you know, pattern in that? So we can do all such type of analysis with this type of question. Okay, so let us go to Tableau and we'll see how we can do that. So to replicate the issue, what I'm doing is I'm taking customer name because that is our primary field. Along with that, I'm also taking my order date because that is the date on which the order was placed. So if at all you want to know what is the order ID, you can add that as well. But for now, I'm not adding anything. It's up to you. And I'm converting this into discrete so that I can see the textual labels. Now, this Aaron has placed order on February 2nd, March 7th, and uh, November 10th. These are the days, right? So, and similarly, this Aaron Hawkins has placed orders on different days from 2018 till 2021. Now, I want to find out difference between these. Now the challenge here is this is the same field here, right? Now, if at all I had two different dates, then it would have been very easy task, right? We would have used a date difference function and we would have done. But now in this case, when we have single date function, how will you do? The challenge is that part, okay? Which means technically I want to subtract 18 minus seven or seven minus eight, three, that something like that I, have, I want to do. Okay, so for that, what I'm doing is, okay, I'm writing uh, a calculation of difference here. Okay, now because I think now every by now everyone know that we want to do a date difference. Okay, I am writing a date difference function. Now, which part of the date we want to do a difference? We want to do a day part of the difference. Okay, till here, I think anyone of us who are watching my channel frequently can frame the equation or frame the logic after this what now i want to look up okay so first thing is we want to get the minimum date so i'm taking lookup of min of order date okay and i'm subtracting minus one okay this is for lookup function which means it has to go to one cell up here okay and after that uh, I'm just doing comma followed by same min of order date and I'm doing this. Okay, so I think one more bracket will come here. Okay, applying this. Okay, and I'm just placing it here. Okay, I'm just converting this into discrete. Now let us do some corrections here. We want to tell Tableau how we want it to compute. If you see the values here, minus one, two, four, zero, or minus nine, double three. So there is no, you know, in, interlink. So I have to correct that. So I'm editing this table calculation. I want to use a specific dimension, both customer name and order date I want to use, but I want to calculate this difference and I want to start it at every customer name. Now see here, the seven minus eight, we are getting 17. Okay, again, this like that. Okay, so we are getting that. And now if I, this is how our, it is looking. Okay, so maybe I want to categorize null as zero or whatever you want, you can categorize, but because we are not finding any specific value, what I'm doing is if, null of this 
I'm just categorizing it as minus one because there, there will be no such state or maybe I want to tell that it is negative value. Okay. And uh, sorry, not this. It is this one. If null of this field followed by minus one. Now it is returning minus one. Now before we before I say okay, it is fine. Let us find out what is that this value is giving us so that in future whenever you get this question, you will be able to answer it without any doubt. Now what I'm doing is I'm just creating another calculated field. Maybe I'll just copy this for ease of use and we'll see what is that numerator is ret returning and what is that denominator is returning. So I'm just copying here and pasting it as a numerator and I am just taking only this field. Okay. Apply. Okay. And I'll just duplicate this and maybe edit it and paste the other part of min of order date and uh, this I will write it as a denominator okay apply okay now let us validate what is that we are getting so I am adding both numerator and a denominator see in numerator we are getting numerator value in denominator we are getting denominator value so in this, what is the numerator? If at all I want to find out 17, how, how am I getting 17? It is numerator. What is numerator? 18, 7. That is how it is getting calculated. Okay. So this way you can answer this question, which can help us in identifying the pattern, number of days a customer is taking to place the order or how much of you know delay a customer had after his first order. All that type of analysis we can do using this simple logic. Okay, so I hope you have found this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.